A lot of places you'll find in this country, once you head inland from the coasts, it's a former industrial town. They made Pullman rail cars there for many years. But it's been losing population for decades. There's still a lot of nice people in Butler. For 60 grand, you can buy a decent house there. It's a place you might be happy in. But our professional class is not impressed by Butler. They don't consider Butler, Pennsylvania, or places like it, the future. To them, places like Butler are embarrassing relics of a past best forgotten. The men of Butler may have built this country, and they did, but they mean nothing to our leaders now. You can be certain of that because when large numbers of people in Butler started killing themselves with narcotics, no one in Washington or New York or Los Angeles said a word about it. And so it continued. There have now been so many opioid deaths in Butler that a few years ago, residents built an overdose memorial in the middle of town. MSNBC didn't cover that. So given all of that, it was interesting how the people around Butler feel about Donald Trump. Here are the pictures of the president's rally there on Saturday night. Tens of thousands of people came. So many people that the crowd obscured the horizon. It looked like a visit from the Pope. When was the last time a political speech drew that many people? Well, the media didn't ask. Instead, they attacked the rally as a super spreader event. Trump endangers thousands in Pennsylvania. Okay, we'll leave the epidemiology to CNN. But the question still hung in the air. Why did all those people come? Why? They must have known that Donald Trump is the most evil man who's ever lived. They've heard that every day for five years. They know that people who support Donald Trump are also evil. They're bigots, they're morons, they're racist cult members. They know that Americans have been fired from their jobs for supporting Donald Trump. Not to mention kicked off social media, belittled by their kids' teachers, shunned by decent society. Only losers and freaks support Donald Trump. People in Butler knew all of that. But on Saturday, they went to the Donald Trump rally anyway. Why exactly did they do that? We should be pondering that question deeply as we watch tomorrow's returns and as we live through the aftermath of them. Millions of Americans sincerely love Donald Trump. They love him in spite of everything they've heard. They love him often in spite of himself. They're not deluded. They know exactly who Trump is. They love him anyway. They love Donald Trump because no one else loves them. Mm. The country they built, the country their ancestors fought for over hundreds of years, has left them to die in their unfashionable little towns, mocked and despised by the sneering halfwits with finance degrees, but no actual skills, who seem to run everything all of a sudden. Whatever Donald Trump's faults, he is better than the rest of the people in charge. At least he doesn't hate them for their weakness.